and they echo the words here we'll find in the Beatitudes in the first part of our Sermon on the Mount. Today we begin that study of the Sermon on the Mount. One Bible said it would be better to call this the wisdom or the teaching from the mountain. It is a collection of sayings that Jesus gave to his disciples and to the crowds as he was teaching them. They encompass chapters 5, 6, and 7 of Matthew. They are words to live by. Remember, the Bible is a living book. It has something to say and a way to challenge the people who heard it from the lips of Jesus. And the same applies to us today. Every time we hear it, we are uh, called and challenged. It is meant to jar us from our complacency and stir us to act and follow. And today we start with the first 12 verses of Matthew, the fifth chapter, known as the Beatitudes. Not many people have a message Bible yet, and the message Bible puts it in a very conversational style, and sometimes it jars us to learn a new meaning. The scripture that is in your bulletin today is the message version, and I'm still reading from the NRSV, but I thought you might want to take this home and read it and see how it contrasts with the NRSV. And it might bring, because they are words that we've heard a billion times before, it might help us to see and hear the words anew and find new meaning them for them, for us. So I invite you now to hear these words, which we call the Beatitudes, from Matthew chapter 5, verses 1 through 12. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and talk them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. And blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven, for in the same way they persecuted the prophets, who were before you. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Amen. Let us pray. 